In one of our videos, we mentioned that the Data Privacy Act provides for the rules for the processing of personal data. The rules for the processing of personal data would vary depending upon the type of personal data that is involved. We have three types of personal data, personal information, sensitive personal information, and privileged personal information. Today, we are going to discuss the criteria to lawfully process personal information. What is personal information? Personal information refers to the data of the individual where his identity is apparent, or any sets of information when grouped together, the identification of the individual could be identified. This could be his photo, his name, or his signature. Now, when can we process this type of personal data? This personal information uh, could only be processed if we have at least one of the seven criteria to lawfully process personal information as provided for by the Data Privacy Act. First criteria is when consent is given by the data subject. When we say consent, this refers to the informed indication of will that the data subject freely gives his agreement for his data to be processed. He agrees that his information to be collected could be used or it could be uh, stored by the personal information controller. Consent cannot be implied. It has to be expressed and it has to be specific. So if we want to ask a data subject and we want him to agree for the processing of his personal data, he has to say yes, that I would agree for you to collect and use my personal information. Second is performance of contract or non-commercial activities. This personal information could be processed if by nature of a contract entered into with a data subject, there is an undertaking by the personal information controller that he would perform some um, obligation to that data subject. Example of which, in the employment contract, the employer would agree that uh, he would extend insurance benefits to the employee. If that is a contract with the employee, therefore, the personal information of the data subject can be used in acquiring the insurance benefits for that certain employee. Third is necessary for compliance with legal obligation. Example for banks. Banks, they have the legal obligation to report to the Anti-Money Laundering Council any incidents of suspicious transactions. So if there's any suspicious transactions or reportable transactions to the Anti-Money Laundering Council, banks are obliged to determine and to disclose the details of the data subject who is involved in the suspicious transaction. Third is if it is necessary to protect the interest of the data subject. This could be any interest. If it is to, for the protection of his life, liberty, or property, the personal information of the data subject can involved can be processed. Fifth is necessary to respond to national emergency. Now, national emergency has to be declared. If there is a declared national emergency as regards health, public safety, then the state can lawfully request that the personal data of the persons who are uh, the subject of the national emergency should be disclosed to them. For example, in the, in the advent of a coronavirus, if the state would ask that the personal information of the passengers involved in a certain airline where a certain passenger has been found to have a coronavirus, and their information must be disclosed, that information can be disclosed even without their consent. Six is mandate of a public authority. If there is a uh, government agency and that government agency is required under their mandate to collect information uh, from certain uh, from the individuals, then even without the consent of the data subject, those data must be involved. For example, if the employee is uh, working for an organization, definitely you would pay for his remittances before the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Now, the Bureau of Internal Revenue would require submission of his name, which is a personal information. If that is the case, since that is the mandate of a public authority, you have to oblige, you have to follow those requirements. And lastly, necessary to pursue the interest, the legitimate interest of the personal information controller. Now, personal information controllers, we also have interest that has to be protected. And this interest could also involve our uh, property. 
So if we have an erring employee and we want to file against a, a case against that erring employee, then we could process his personal information. So these are the criteria to lawfully process a personal information. If you have questions, feel free to leave your comment below and uh, we'll be happy to assist you. I am Attorney Mateo from ADM Partners, your data privacy partner.